part of the mantra of Flash was a heart, humor, and spectacle, and um, uh, I think that this show has has that. You know, it's certainly much more uh, akin to Flash, to, you know, tonally. Um, but I think that uh, it's a little bit more grown up in, in some respects, and, and there's a whole aspect of the show, this sort of workplace comedy, which we've never really tried before in any other show. So it, it actually has. You know, you know, just in the way that Flash has more moving parts than Arrow did, Supergirl has more moving parts than Flash did. And and again, because it's a, about a female hero, that you know, some of it is very much the same. You know, because we're dealing with somebody who's sort of coming into their own. You know, just as Barry did. But um, it's a whole different journey. It's a whole different journey for being a woman. Um, you know, it's a whole different journey um, for being a woman as a superhero. It's very different for just being a woman moving through life, you know, as a 20-year-old. So, you know, for us, there's there's enough sort of things that we've done for us to, like, have a hold, uh, a hold on, on the material, but then there's enough new stuff for it to still feel exciting and different for us. It's the action of pilot. Can she get drunk as the flash? <laughs> uh, we, haven't done, we haven't tried that yet. You know, I think one of, one of the... the I don't know. We have we have we haven't we haven't done that yet. Well, she has to eat. She's got to breathe. You know. I think it's it's funny. I mean, it, I know you're joking, but um, uh, it does lead to something which, which we are exploring all the time, which is like when you make a show about a Kryptonian, how do you make it so that they, um, you're, it's not a foregone conclusion that they're going to win every week. You know, so um, part of the part of the show is like, how do we hurt her? How do we, you know, without having everybody have kryptonite? So her having a few uh, physical, uh, you know, you know uh, that's interesting. The 1980s theatrical Supergirl got a bit of a beating, but it's a film that in the intervening years has become a bit of a cult favorite. Do you owe that audience anything? Is there anything in this? To kind of, to kind of, well, Helen Slater, of course. you know, yeah. um, you know, which, as always, again, you know, we're fanboys first, you know, and like, you know, uh, you know, some some things were more successful than others, and you know, but uh, but Helen Slater is, is a, just like John Wesley Ship is a tremendously talented actor, and you know, regardless of whether her she had an affiliation with Supergirl, you'd be daft not to want her to be part of your project. Um, but the fact that she has that, and, and for us, what was so um, important about that scene is it, it was in a way it was almost protecting Superman because like you know there wasn't a lot of time to sort of get into his head in that scene about why he decided to leave Kara with his family and I mean for us it makes perfect sense he was 25 years old he was starting out he couldn't be Superman and have to take care of a child and you know he wanted her to have the same kind of upbringing that he had you know but you didn't have time to sort of express all of that you really just kind of see him giving her a hug and dropping her off but like I think the fact that he dropped her off with Superman and Supergirl and Dean and Helen kind of you know, laid some of that track, and I'm like, oh, yeah, there she's gonna be fine. So, um, and we have some great stories planned for the two of them, just like I think, like with, with John Wesley Ship, like they're gonna be a continuing part of the show and uh, um, a, a, a similar resource to what the Kents are for Clark in various iterations, but then also again something different because they, you know, they're really more of her friends than they are her parents. She has parents, Carl remembers them, so it's a different dynamic, but just as interesting. Is it gonna be more of a serial? Show or is it the case of the week elements? There are some case of the week elements, I think, like always, but um, you know, I mean, for us, generally, like the seasons tend to start, no matter what show we're doing and no matter what year it is, they tend to start with a few more villains of the week because what you're doing is you're really laying the emotional foundation for what's to come later on as things become more stark serialized. So there is an ongoing threat. There's an on, if you've seen the pilot, you know, there's an ongoing big bad. Um, and, uh, you know, Watching, you know, the beginning is really watching Kara form her team and deciding what kind of superhero she wants to be, and, and learning that like she, her cousin has done it one way, but she can do it uh, very differently. How important? I just want to make sure everybody got some questions. How important is it that she revealed herself to the people around her like right away versus kind of having it where Arrow and Flash is a little more secretive for a while? I think for us. The, the least the least interesting aspect of any of these shows for us to write is Clark Clark you just missed it <laughs> you know Superman was here you know and it was always any time somebody found out like on Arrow when 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 Dig found out when Felicity found out when Tommy found out when Laurel found out like all of a sudden everything got so much easier and that's why quite frankly from the very beginning of Flash we're like Iris is going to find out towards the end of this year because we're just not doing that anymore 
And so for this, there was a lot of discussion about whether or not we should let as many people in on it. But for us, what we thought was so interesting was, you know, at least the way we're sort of portraying Superman, we're, we're portraying him as much more of a loner and a lone figure and, and doesn't have as many resources. But that Kara, you know, doesn't want to do it that way. That, you know, she's more of a, a team builder and, and she has all these people in her life. And the thought that there was somebody who doesn't know just, you know, the, the most fun you get is, is Callista not knowing because it's like, you know, there's lots of scenes where, you know, Kara's like commenting on something Supergirl said and, you know, Kat's like, ugh, you sound just like Supergirl. You know, and it, the, all that stuff is fun, but like we kind of keep it there and for everything else she can sort of be who she is. Thanks everyone, got it.